Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today we are back with our Trimoran Yacht. Now, as you guys can see right here, it is actually built up quite nicely. We have a helipad that we ended up adding last time. There is a little bit of a boo-boo going on right here, not sure what that is. Uh, but today, what I decided that we should do is actually add some engines. So, previously, all we've been using is those guys right there, which honestly doesn't really work out too well for me. So, we're going to get rid of those guys, and we're going to do it normally. So, we're going to go ahead and put them on the back end. Now, a few of you guys have mentioned maybe we should be using jet engines. That's not really what I want to do, so we're going to be using some diesels, uh, because I don't like the sound of jet engines, and yeah, they're just annoying. So, I'm going to go ahead and start building some normal engines inside of this thing, and hopefully, it'll be cool. Okay, so what I'm going to do is actually go to this guy right here. We're going to go on both sides, just like so. We're going to drop this down a bunch, and I'm going to send it all the way out to here. I'm going to do this as well. There we go. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and delete the floor. I know this seems a little bit strange and a little bit weird, but um, I'm going to do it. I am going to do it. There we go. And if you're wondering why, um, it's actually because... I don't think there's any water in here when we're actually moving, and we kind of need water in here. Um, sort of, a little bit, just so that we can actually mount a vehicle into here. That is what we need to do, so let's go ahead and paint all the way around the edge of this. There we go, and we're going to jug it in like that. There we go. That's really deep. That is really deep. Anywho, that allows us to go onto the inside of here, the actual interior, and I'm going to go ahead and do something like this. There we go. Hopefully that hasn't built on the outside. It hasn't. Good. We're going to go ahead and send this guy upwards to there, but we are going to delete this guy so we can do that. And I'm going to try and seal off all of these pieces. Now, there is a lot to seal off in here if we had to do it that way. Uh, so what we'll do instead is this. Uh, out to about there. There we go. Delete these guys, but do this. Hold on. That's not quite right. Whoop. There we go. Nice. Delete this guy. Fantastic. And fill in that little bit right there. So, actually, this could be a normal room all by itself, but for now, this is going to be an engine room on the inside. I think, anyway. I don't know. Is this a good idea? Is this a bad idea? I'm not sure. I think this bit looks okay, though. So, let's try and figure out how to do engines. Okie dokie, engine! There it is right there. So, I think we're going to use 3x3 crankshafts. Here we go. Let's go ahead and do one. Uh, two, three, oh, we're gonna have big engines. They are gonna be big. There we go. So that is five. There we go. We're then gonna get a cylinder per each of these. So a three liter cylinder engine thingamabobby. Here we go. A cylinder. That's what we need. There we go. Do those. Do this one as well. One, two, three, four, five. So that's ten. That is actually ten. Maybe we do it on the inside of here, actually. So delete most of this. Most, most of it. There we go. There's... Oh, do it this way. One, two, three, four, and five. Good. We're then going to seal this guy off like this, and I'm actually going to seal it all the way around, whether that makes sense or not. There we go. Okay, cool. Actually, no, we need to change it slightly more than that as well. So we're actually going to go ahead and build this in a little bit more. There we go. And we're actually going to have to attach it to the other one. So let's do this. Hey, here we go. So we're going to need to grab one of... Where are they? Where are the things that I need? These guys, here we go. So that's going to go in there like that. We're then going to put one right there like this, and we're going to put one right there like that. We then need to attach all of these guys together, which is a little bit annoying. Just a little bit, but there you go. There's one, two, and three. Good. And then we're going to attach them all with a straight piece all the way through. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven and eight, and there we go. We're then going to seal this over the top, just like this, and there we go. Nice! Okay, that's actually really cool. That is very good. Okay, so no matter what we do with the engines now, everything should be fine. What I am going to do is actually pump the exhaust out the bottom side, because I feel like that makes sense to do. So let's try and find where one of the engines is. Here we go. All right, it's just here. We're going to go ahead and fill this bit back in. Real quick, there we go. And we'll have both of these actually be exhausts. So do this, one and two. Then we could get ourselves some fluid pots and just shove them on the bottom. And that will be lovely. There we go, good, good. Paint all of this. Go ahead and paint this guy like this. And there we go, nice. Okay, one of the next things that I want to do is actually add a bit of a fuel tank. And that fuel tank is actually going to be running down the side. 
Uh, pretty much all the way to here, which is almost at the front. We're going to do that guy right there, and I'm going to send this all the way across here like this. Which I'm then going to come back across and do this. There we go. Because we need a relatively big fuel tank. And that is what this area is going to be. Nice. Okay, cool. So, we need to go from here. Wherever here is, I think. Oh, maybe actually inside one. So, about here. Nope. This one? Hey, there it is. Um, and we're going to have to delete this one as well. That's fine. So, we need a fuel thingamabobby. And we also need an air thingamabobby as well. So, let's try and figure that out together, shall we? Engine. Yes. Okay, so the fuel. No, that's the air. Where's the fuel? Where is the fuel one? There it is. We're going to go ahead and shove that on there like so. We're then going to get ourselves a pipe. And we're going to pump it upwards. Just like this. There we go. And then we should be able to attach a straight pipe directly onto that. There we go. And a normal pipe or a normal block just there. We then need to attach this down to there. And that is it. So, let's get ourselves a fluid port. Yeah. We're going to go and shove it directly into there like so. We then need a pipe that is going to attach this to that. So, we're going to actually send it upwards, pretty much all the way up to the top. We're going to go round the top of the room in order to attach these guys together. Why am I doing that? I actually got no idea. Why would I be doing that? Anyway, let's go ahead and do this. There we go. Nice. Go ahead and do this one. And send it upwards like so. And then send it this way. And then we're just going to send it in a straight line in this direction like so. And then we're going to have to do it backwards as well. But don't worry, that's fine. So attach this guy to here. Attach this guy to here, and send them together, and there we go. So that's our fuel tank, sort of done. It goes all the way up, all the way across, all the way down, and back into there. We then need a spawner, and a meter as well. So there's the meter. And here is the spawner, I guess. I guess, there we go, spawner. Go ahead and shove that in there like that. Let's spawn this in, see what kind of weight issues we have, which we might have some. Ah, that's not terrible. That isn't terrible at all. Um, and yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is actually our air supply. So we're going to delete that guy right there, delete this guy as well. Go to engine yet again, grab our air. Here we go, shove it on there like so. Grab ourselves a pipe that brings it up sideways. There we go, attach a straight pipe directly onto there, just like this. And we're going to put that guy right there. This guy can then actually just go straight up through there. Okay, this is actually going in the right place as well. This is great. Through here, and then onto the top of here, where we can add a fluid port, paint it green, and that is all we need. Yeah, nice. All right, put that there. Go ahead and paint this guy in like this, and there we go. Nice. Okay, so we've got our air, we've got our fuel, we've got our exhaust. Now all we need to do is coolant. Okay, so uh, how are we going to go about doing coolant then? We could do seawater, where we just pump it down into the water. That is something that we are able to do, I suppose. So we could literally just attach this to here and here. And, um, I don't know, have the coolant go through that, I guess? So, how would we go about doing that, actually? If I just added pipes straight down, is that going to work? No, that's not how it works. What am I talking about? Um, we need an engine thingamabobby. Where is it? Where is it? We need one of these. There we go. Uh, we're going to shove that onto there like that. We can then have a pipe bring this down. And then that should work, I guess? Yeah. Having salt in the system presumably isn't a very good idea, but it shouldn't matter too much. So grab this guy, go ahead and put it on there like this. Good. We're then going to go ahead and have this guy on here the same. And we're going to have these guys on here, one and two. And we're going to shove that in the middle. Is that okay, or does that need pumps? I'm assuming that will need a pump to actually pump that through. Yeah. Okay, I've got an idea whether it'll work or not, I'm not sure. But, uh, let's go to pipes. Yes, go ahead and send it this way. We're then gonna go ahead and send this guy, uh, this way like this. Good. We're then gonna get ourselves a pump. Just one of these small ones, and we're gonna shove that there. It doesn't really matter which way around this is, so don't even look at that. We're then gonna go to this guy. We're gonna have this guy pipe downwards, just like so. And we're going to fill in the rest of these guys like this, attach that guy to there, and now we have a system that actually pumps coolant into the engines. It is just seawater, but that's fine. Alright, so what else do we need? We need to go to the engine, we need a 3x3 belt, let's go ahead and attach that to there. We're then going to need some starters, so let's go ahead and try and find those. Where are the starters? Here we go. One, two, and, I don't know, three and four. Let's do four starters. 
Uh, we're not going to put an alternator on this because I don't think it's necessary. Um, because we'll just add a generator to the back. We do need a big clutch though. So if I could find one, that'd be great. 3x3 three three clutch, whack that on there. Gearbox is the next thing. Let's go ahead and shove this on here as well. Probably going to do that in white or whatever. So let's go ahead and do that guy into there like so. Let's give it a reverse gear. When it's on, there we go. Same with this guy. And then, I don't know, shove it into... Oh, you know what? We're going to go with 3 to 1. Go to 3 to 1 there, 3 to 1 there. Shove it straight into a propeller that's going to go at the back. And that's going to be fine. Oh, maybe not. Oh, maybe not. Okay, we might have to move this up by, like, one. Uh, which I think I'm okay with, uh, honestly. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Up by one, all the way up to there. I don't know whether I should have the propellers somewhere else. But for now, we'll leave them. Let's delete this guy and this guy and this guy and do this. And I'm also going to delete this guy and this guy and this guy. Good. Okie dokie. Let's try and figure this out too. So I'm going to do this all the way across here. Oh, I have an idea anyway. I've got an idea. Um, da -da 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 -da. Pipes, yes. Go ahead and fill this guy in right there. Like, not like that. Like that, there we go. Get a straight piece in this color. Send it. Whee! Okay, so that goes through there into there. That is awesome. I might actually, just in case we get any damage on the back, I'm going to change this to that. And that'll be fine. Nice. Okay, good. So, um, this is fine for now. Let's go ahead and just jug this bit in. There we go. Hopefully we haven't changed anything else. Add some propellers to the back, and we'll see if we can actually make it work. So large propeller. We're going to go ahead and shove it in in this color. Okay, good. I'm going to do something like this. Uh, out to there. And I might actually just do something like this. It'd be nice if I could, but I don't think it's going to work. So I'd have to do something like that in order for this to actually be a thing. But, um... I kind of don't mind that. It looks a little bit weird, but it's fine. Okay, cool. So, let's go ahead and get these guys working now and see what happens. Okie dokie. So, I've got the microcontroller to control the engines. Let's go ahead and actually just put this next to the engine, because I don't see why not. Uh, we'll actually just shove it on the wall right about here. There we go. And lower and... I don't know. Right next to the engine is fine. Paste that there. There we go. Good. Merge that up. Go ahead and press U, take it to the other side, and paste it here as well. There we go. Merge that guy up with that. We're then going to go ahead and paint it this color because there's no point in it being red. And then we're going to attach it all together, and we'll go from there. Right, so let's go ahead and delete this and this. There we go. We get ourselves a throttle. Here we go. Nicely done. And we're going to go ahead and shove this onto here like so. That's good. We then need to attach this throttle down to this guy. There we go. And that guy right there. And this should now totally work. So, um, let's go ahead and get a reverse button in here as well. It's just going to be on one. That's okay. So, reverse there, reverse there, and I guess let's see what happens. This also needs to be on whenever this is on, so let's go ahead and do that. And, I don't know, let's do that as well. There we go. Cool. So, uh, let's go ahead and start it and see what happens. Uh oh have we got like a hole in this thing somewhere? I feel like I might have made a hole. Uh-oh, that's a boo-boo if we have, because if there is a hole in this, uh, we we will just sink. We will just sink. Uh, doesn't seem to be a hole anywhere. No, there's no holes in there. Okay, there's... Oh, there could be a hole in the bottom. No, there isn't. There, there shouldn't be any holes in this. There should legit be no holes in it. And we might just be a little bit too heavy. Uh-oh. Is it this? Is it actually this? It is. It is totally this. So if I seal that up right there, there we go. And we do it the same on the other side. There we go. Uh, now we can go. So I was trying to find that hole for ages, and now we've found it. Uh, we are a little bit off balance, but we can sort that out in the future. Don't worry about that too much. Let's go ahead and climb up here and go into the bridge. Start their engines. Throttle it up. Go. I don't have a, oh, I don't have a, a clutch, designated clutch button thingamabobby. So it doesn't actually move. So we need WNS to go on clutch. Where is WNS? Oh, it's in the tank controller. We aren't going to be using tank controls for this one, unfortunately. WNS, here we go. Let's send that down to the clutch pressure and clutch pressure. And that is it. Obviously, we don't have any rudders, so we can't turn. But we could do tank controls to turn. That is true. We could have done that, but never mind. Right, here we go. Let's get inside of here. Good. Turn it on. Go! Hmm. 
Okay, I mean, it's not super fast, but it is, it is moving. So that's pretty good. Yeah, nice. And as a side note, it isn't actually really, really loud. So I'm actually really, really pleased with this. That is actually, that is awesome. Uh, right, okay, let's go ahead and jump down here. I think we're going to have some sort of jacuzzi system in here right soon, uh, eventually. We're going to have that be like a little bay for the rib, which is going to go in the back. And we're going to have a bar and stuff like that inside this bit. And this is going to be like a huge living room as well, I think. I don't know. Anyway, for now, uh, we've added the engines. They do actually work. That is exactly what I wanted to do today. So I think we'll leave it there. Anyway, for now, thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.